Before you launch your mobile app, you'll want to connect the mobile suite with your standard website so that when a mobile user goes to your website from their smartphone or tablet device, the system will detect that they're coming from a mobile device and it'll go a step further. It will de detect what type of mobile device they're coming from. If they're coming from an Android or an Apple device, it will give them an icon and prompt them to download the native app appropriate for their machine. In order to connect the mobile suite with your standard website, we need to go to mobile and select mobile web setup. In the top part, you'll see this is the status area. And the status regarding mobile web, there are two possibilities. It can The mobile website can be online or offline. If the mobile website is online, that means that anyone who has the URL for the mobile website can view your mobile site. If it is in the offline mode, that means that only someone who has logged into your account will be able to view the mobile website. All other users will be forwarded back to your standard website. If we scroll down in the mobile web setup area, I mentioned a moment ago that anyone who has the URL for your mobile website would be able to view it when it's in the online mode. This is the URL for your mobile website. And in order to add the detection script to your website, whoever is in charge of the web design will need to copy the code in this box and paste it into the head area of your standard home page. Once this is done, then anyone who visits the website from a mobile device will be sent immediately to the mobile site and have the prompt for the device that is appropriate for them. Now, since this script always sends users to the mobile home screen or home tab, we recommend that you only include this script in this head section of your standard site's home page. If we scroll down a bit further, we see another uh, box with script in it. This allows you to add a link to let mobile users switch views back and forth between your standard website and the mobile site. The link will only appear for mobile users and requires that you use the previous script as well. I showed you a moment ago the URL for the mobile site and you can see it's uh, stensfordcenter.instantencore.com slash app. Well, I may have my own website domain and I may prefer to have m.stensfordcenter.com rather than have a URL that has instantencore.com in it. That's perfectly fine. You can do that below in the custom domain for mobile website area. In order to have this possibility, you will need to have your domain administrator edit your domain settings to the point where the A record for this subdomain is pointing to the IP address highlighted here. Once this edit has been made to the domain settings, make sure that you give the system 24 hours for the changes to take place before you try to use the subdomain. And the final area under mobile web setup regards iPad redirection. 
Some partners prefer that individuals using iPads go to the standard website rather than their mobile website. They feel as though their standard website has been designed well enough that it performs strongly on an iPad. That's perfectly fine. In order to ensure that users of an iPad will go directly to the standard site, simply check the box do not redirect iPad visitors to mobile site. And you can see that the setting has taken place up here. And if you change your mind, you can always uncheck that box.